Hmm. Hello. Um. Right, you do see a lot of stuff on social media, and everyone's banging on about fake news this, fake news that, blah blah blah. BBC is fake news. The stuff on social media is fake news. Now, I saw some stuff come up uh, a few few days back, uh, back when they'd done the Leicester lockdown um, about police officers standing outside railway stations. We must check your papers, peasant. Show me your papers, peasant. Okay, I thought, you know, that's plausible. Maybe. I wouldn't be surprised with it. You know what the police did to me, so... Um, anyway, I just kind of, you know, I put a comment on saying I wouldn't be surprised or all that sort of thing. So the other day, yesterday, I'm driving down the M6. Driving south. <laughs> and I look across the carriageway. And on the northbound carriageway, there's a copper, a motorbike copper, stood by his bike. And you can see him watching all his head scooting, watching all this traffic coming up the slip road onto the M6. I'm thinking, well, what, what's he doing there? He can't be looking for speeding drivers, surely, on a slip road. I thought, oh, maybe they're, they're looking for someone, you know, someone who's been in town or whatever, you know, and have committed a crime or whatever. And then, of course, it struck me I was going past Leicester. <laughs> Junction 2, I think it was. <laughs> Show me your papers, peasant. <laughs> we are the Nazi Fourth Reich food soldiers. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, coppers standing outside railway stations and whatever probably was true. Um, wow. Jesus, what the fuck have we become? Seriously. What are we being turned into, actually, by this Nazi fucking government? Christ. I mean, this is everything I've gone on about for fucking years coming true. It just fucking amazes me. It really does. Wow. Actually standing there looking for people who aren't travelling locally, or whatever it is. Or who are travelling not locally for no good reason. I... I thought Wales was bad enough with their five mile limit. Fucking... I'm in absolute fucking amazement. I really am. I, until I saw that sign... You know, until I realised where I was. It just... It, there's nothing you can say, is there? It's fucking dictatorship. Absolute fucking dictatorship. How many people is COVID-19 killing now? Hardly fucking any. For the last six days in Scotland, there's been no deaths whatsoever. But, oh, old Nicola fucking Adolf Sturgeon, oh no, she's put, all oh, fucking Scottish people must wear masks in shops as from, I think it's the 10th of July. Jesus fucking Christ, what is going, it's a fucking virus. It's the summertime. Right, the sun kills off fucking viruses. It's called vitamin fucking D. Look it up, you Nazi fucking pricks. Oh no, they're stretching this fucker out, because come September, October, when the weather starts getting a bit colder again, that be, someone will get a cold and they'll be like, Ah, oh, that's it, the fucking resurgence of COVID-19, shut the whole fucking country down, yeah, we can do what the fuck we like. I've not seen any of the MPs wearing face masks, I have for show. Deliberate fucking media pictures taken in the House of Commons. I haven't seen them wearing them anywhere else. <laughs> Listen, the Chinese people, as I've mentioned before here, on here, wore face masks for fucking years after SARS or whatever it was. I didn't see it doing them any fucking good whatsoever when COVID came in. I mean, I'm just fucking mentioning it. Fucking hell. <laughs> 